Happening today, Florida lawmakers coming together in Tallahassee for a special session. The big issue, showing support for Israel and its fight against Hamas, but that's not the only measure being considered. Our Mark Lehman is following the latest on this, and Mark, several items are on the agenda. There are a dozen bills set to be discussed by lawmakers. On top of support for Israel, there are also measures aimed at expanding programs, which could help a lot of families. As a special session gets underway this morning in Tallahassee, priorities for lawmakers include protecting Floridian safety and showing support for Israel. In response to last month's violence, the Florida House and Senate are expected to pass resolutions that condemns the unprovoked attack by Hamas and supports Israel's right to defend itself. Proposed legislation also calls for $10 million to improve security at facilities that are high risk for violent attacks or hate crimes and an additional $25 million to boost security at Jewish schools. Jews not just in Israel but right here in Florida, do not feel safe today. Lawmakers may also expand restrictions on Florida's ability to do business with companies tied to Iran. Our proposed legislation will, of course, reinforce Florida's commitment that we don't do business with state sponsors of terrorism such as Iran. Another big issue on the agenda surrounds private school vouchers. Earlier this year, the legislature expanded the availability of the scholarship program, but there are still limits on a type of voucher intended to help children with special needs. This week, lawmakers will consider expanding the availability of those so-called family empowerment scholarships. The Florida House and Senate will also discuss providing financial assistance to the Big Bend area that was hit by Hurricane Adalia. There are, however, no bills aimed at addressing Florida's continuing property insurance crisis. The special session is expected to last only a couple of days. Bridget?